All right, so there is one day left to the events and I just want to make a kind of like catch up video, kind of like see where everyone's at and kind of tell you what you should be doing in this final day that we have this available. All right. Um, so I don't know how like exactly how much time. I mean, it says a day and uh, yeah, OK, so I mean, probably a bit less, a bit more than a day. I'm not going to say exactly how much, but we're going to say about a day, even if it's a bit more, a bit less. So let's go over the two events we have, starting with the oldest event, a homesick horizon. All right. Most people should. Be, OK, a day, five hours. So by the time this comes out, I'll be chilling. Perfect. Um, now, this event is the oldest. All right. Our first event. And overall, probably the worst out of the three for a couple of reasons. Number one, the rewards in the exchange was not buffed. Well, buffed meaning an extra 500 cubes. So I don't know how much you want to say buffed is. But yeah, we did not have the 500 cubes in this event. And also the, uh, in the other event, the second event for Junpei, the map event, where you're able to choose your cursed items, right? So it, there's some things that are different for each. But let's talk about where exactly you should be ending off this event at. I'd say that's the most important thing. Uh, so I haven't logged in. This is literally, I just logged on. So we're going to claim this. Now, for this event, right, you could, first of all, just use everything for the first part. Uh, right now, I need to, like, finish this up, right? Um, you really do want to just grind as much, mainly for the skills, right? The, this is the main thing. Because in terms of everything else, you're fine. Like, cursed objects, over time, especially with how many events we have, it's chill, right? But I would say you want to make sure you're at the final one. Okay, you want to make sure you're at the final one. At this point... I'd say most people should be able to kind of uh, do what they need to do in terms of AP and all that good stuff. I'd say you're fine. But really, these events are really good for um, the, the items, the skills, right? Now, just to say for the most recent event, which don't touch until these two are done, by the way. There's no reason for you to touch it right now. Um, what I do want to say is that this kind of like, unless I'm, unless I'm tripping, which I really, really doubt I am. But yeah, I already finished this and it kind of reset, so... I don't know if I'm tweaking, right? Um, but you could just like try try to finish it, finish it at least once, okay? I don't think you should be going too crazy on that because right now, in terms of skills, right? You could get more from here. Domain investigation is doubled, so that's a huge thing. Now, listen, I just logged on. I'll do all my daily stuff later. Don't mind the dispatch. Don't mind it. D don't mind it. Oh, wait, it's going to queue a uh, cutscene. All right, so let's go back into it. Um, in terms of this story, I'd say you're chill to not really go too crazy with it. The rewards are not like amazing, but yeah, of course, there, there's no way by now, I'm just going to include this in, but there's no way by now you're not at least at number eight. I, I feel like most people are, but if you're not, finish number seven, okay? Finish everything, get all of this, and you could try. You could just chip away at this, right? Now, for the map event, um, this one for sure, like at least make sure guys, make sure, make sure, make sure you've done this, right? You want to make sure you've done this um, because, well, this in total is giving a good amount of crystals, right? Or cubes. So 100, 100 cubes, uh, 400 cubes, 900 cubes. Okay. So three uh, singles, but listen, for as many people that are complaining, you're going to want to do that. Now, in terms of the exchange, this should be completed, right? You should completely sweep everything besides, of course, like the infinite stuff. Now, what I would say, once you finish the infinite quote unquote stuff, um, the items, then I would not touch this really. Um, if you want to get some cursed objects, sure. This is the only time you're really going to do them. But besides that, there's just not really much of a point. If I'm being honest, you sweep the whole shop and then you kind of stop is how I would go about it because right now we have double. Okay. There's double, uh, if you really need training mats. So why would you farm here? And then here, well, I mean, listen, it's great and all, but every single event is giving cursed objects. So I don't know about y'all, but for me, I'm more than chilling on cursed objects. So like, listen, you could do it, but I would not really recommend it. Obviously the good part about this is that it's going to be giving you the actual like the one you need right it's going to be giving you the one you need which is great but at the same time it's just not that worth it in my opinion all right so i would stay clear once you clear everything out this is how it should look and then you stop this event that's the main thing now once you're done both of these right now by done like i said you could finish up to seven now also you could go further depending on your boost units if you have more boost units here because you got into dory and you have both recollection and the free to play one, obviously. Um, then you could continue on this one, just continue grinding until like you're done or you don't have any more AP you wanna use. 
And then you could go to this one. Okay, this one is the best one so far because you get an, this one just has a built-in extra uh, 500 cubes, right? So what, 100, 200, um, 350, 500. Okay, so it has a built-in extra 500, but this just remains the same, right? So you're really not farming anything different compared to Itadori. So if you really, if you're planning on farming this event or planning on farming a event in general, well, just see which one gives you a higher boost and which one can you clear in quicker succession. And then farm that one more, right? Now, one thing to note for Formidable Battle is that uh, for me, example, I'm able to two tap special, which if you check two tapping special is gonna be giving you more than one tapping very hard, right? Uh, Cause two of this is 130 and two of this is 170, right? Or yeah, sorry. Yeah, two of this is 130 and two of this in total is 170. So you have to kind of do a bit of math, but in general, you should be doing the one that gives you more for like, if you equal the amount of clears, right? For example, let's say you do 40 of this, but you one clear and you do 40 of this, but it takes two clears to clear. Well then, for example, this gives 65, this gives 24. So two to one, it's always better to do the higher level, okay? So that's something to consider with the boost units. And for example, obviously, if you have Megumi, which guys, I don't know what it is, but y'all have been getting extremely lucky on Megumi's banner. So if that was the case, then yeah, you're gonna wanna farm this event, okay? Instead of Itadori's, you could just take Itadori's out of your mind, but at the very, just bare minimum, clear seven because these are good rewards listen like you're gonna start needing a lot right it's not just some thing that you don't really care about like just at level nine it takes three okay and it's a big increase and look because of events mainly i've been able to get so many like of the especially silver ones and also of course of course of course of course because of domain investigation those two things put together and yeah this is the result that has um occurred right so make sure you're doing all those events this could be later right you have four more days so the way i would go about it is you finish these events you sweep the exchange shop for the map event you get at least you finish at least the seventh mission or the seventh part of the exchange. And then you could start farming this one, right? And if you really want to be uh, min-maxing about this shit, right? You finish these two events that are leaving in a day. You start doing your beacon of training or JP if you really need, which in my opinion, JP is uh, a necessity. Like, bro. Oh my God, it's bad. It's so bad. Like, 400k for that, I go broken 400k. GG. So I would low-key farm JP for a bit and then go to the Megumi event. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Um, y'all could obviously handle it differently, but I'm just giving y'all my, uh, my recommendations for this, of course. Now, besides that, just make sure, because it's uh, one of the last days that you... Uh, oh, let me, let me go press go and then exit out. So that you, um, that you do your early gotcha and you claim it, right? So, bro, if I get a Gojo, I'm going to be pissed. Oh my God, if I see a Gojo... All right, good. So yeah, you want to make sure you finish this up if you haven't yet done your early gotcha. Um, this could for sure be something that could help you a bit. I know a lot of people kept it to the end, but I'm just reminding you in case there's even like one or two people who haven't really done much with that. But besides that, there's really not much leaving, okay? Uh, there's not much you have to worry about. In my opinion, we should get news on someone in the next day. I feel like by, by this point, we're going to get news on the next banner. Uh, in two days time, I could see it. I could definitely see it. But that's it. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little checkup. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know um, where you're at in the events, right? Let me know uh, if you're done them, right? If you're done. And uh, if you're farming this one like I am, right? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to this point, especially little forehead kiss. Bye-bye.